and it's done by hey 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 there we go fireworks hey 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 what up guys how are you let's talk about how i ended up here at 3 a.m i just checked in here at the at the flamingo this is i think their top floor and it's some sort of a uh, it's called the executive room with two queens uh, here's a view proposition oh yeah beautiful views here uh, especially for the price point that flamingo offers again this is an expansive window it's an older building but hey you get a view like this for a great price but sometimes great prices come with great compromises which was the case for this flamingo stay Flamingo is centrally located on the Strip, and it's perfect for those young folks who want to have that college party atmosphere, including their pools. And it's also great for older folks who want to retouch with that old-school Vegas magic that they had with Flamingo back in the days. Treasure Island will soon open, featuring an outdoor theater resembling the small bay village described in Robert Louis Stevenson's classic novel, Treasure Island. All right, you perhaps clicked on this video because all the news that's been going on about the bed bugs in Las Vegas. But please keep in mind, this is my bed bug experience that happened to be here at Flamingo. But again, this could happen at any hotel on the Vegas Strip. First, the room tour of this Go Executive penthouse room. By the way, it sounds a lot more fancier than it is. And then I'll share with you what exactly went down after I found the bed bug and how Flamingo handled it. It's long, right? It's long that way, and it's long that way. This is an executive room with this strip view. Okay, it's slightly bigger than the other uh, standard rooms, but and these rooms are on the top two floor levels. On the so right away you walk in, boom. Okay, got a little mirror going on here. Check yourself out. Okay, and then, okay. okay, let's check out the bathroom here. Okay, everything's a little, 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 little bit raggedy, but doable and manageable. You know, they're trying to put a little color, this and this and that. It has a 1990s vibe. Like, uh, if you want a feeling of what how Vegas rooms were in the 1990s, this would be it, you know. Could you hear the little creaking? Yeah, at least in this room, because I know the other Flamingo rooms, they offer dispensers and whatnot, but at least they offer the same toilet amenities as they do at, let's say, at Paris. And I like this brand, it's pretty good. Okay, anyhow. Yeah, the walls could need a refresh and this and this and that, but uh, you know, at least the towels are clean, it looks like. Let me smell it. Yeah, it smells clean. You got little, it ain't perfect, but uh, you know, it's still cleaner than my bathroom at my house, so I can't really say much. It's a typical old school luxury bathroom where they have a tub and a walk-in shower, which was a big deal. Uh, nowadays, the new trend is they're taking this out and making this bigger, which uh, I don't know which I prefer or not, but uh, for me, at least if you want to go in the tub, there's a tub, which I don't know, I'm not sure if I want to go in this tub, but it's clean. It looks clean, at least, you know, everything looks clean. All right, so let's do this. So yeah, like from here, if you do certain lighting effects, certain camera work, it could look real fancy in here. But uh, however, if you see this with your own eyes, it's not the case. Uh, I mean, like this looks real cool. That looks real shiny and cool on camera, but in person, yeah, it looks cool, but it's not as cool as it might appear to be, if that makes any sense. However, don't get me wrong. It looks very clean. It looks very clean. The floors are understandable. You know, there's marks and this and this and that, but again, this room is, this is a budget hotel, but it's right on the strip. So. All right, I'll stop talking. I'm picky, I'm, do, I'm this, I'm that, but as long as I feel it's relatively clean, I'm good to go. Oh boy, I'll be eating these words later on. And then you have the view outside like this. Beautiful floor to ceiling. 
beautiful white windows. I wish every hotel had like a rope that would just hold it there to give you more expansive view to the outside. Oof, man, yeah, lodge is going off. Little refrigerator hidden down here. Awkward uh, situation, but yeah. Oh, you could put your ice cream in here. Okay. Ice cream man is coming. Take that out. Couple of drawers, nothing too crazy. By the way, these gold rooms are the second most recently renovated rooms, although they are outdated. And then some closet action. It's not a mirror, it's just kind of a kind of a glass facade, but uh oh there's my silhouette. Let me give you the best pose. What's up? What's up? What up, lay? What's up? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm joking. Alright, let's open it up. Bam! Okay. <laughs> it's creaking like an old school closet back in the 80s or you know maybe in the 90s but uh yeah it's spacious it gets the job done you have a big old old school safe here make an old school sound okay no robe none of the luxury amenities but it is what it is hey my teeth looks white with this lighting <laughs> all right oh that's very funny i'll just see you know what I mean? All right, so this is my dinner at Bugsy and Myers downstairs. And uh, up until dinner time, I spent the total of maybe 15 minutes in the room filming and whatnot. And fortunately, I didn't lay in the bed at all up until that point. Although I didn't spend any time on the bed up until this point, you see my goodies right there? I left that exposed for about an hour while I went down to have dinner. Ooh. Ooh. It might be Rick Ross or Gucci Mane down there right now. I'm just chilling and catching some B-roll here after dinner and then... Not bad. It smells a little musty in here, but you know, that could be just me. But uh... Yeah. Soon after I was like, all right, I just had a big meal. Let's take a nap. And I go to the bed and then fortunately I saw this right away. Hey guys. Oh my God. There's literally, literally a bed bug in here. Oh, hell no. I've never seen bed bugs before, but my instincts told me that, hey, this could be bed bugs. My instincts also told me, hey, take the pillowcase, take it downstairs and show it to the manager and let them know exactly what we're up against. So I get to the counter, put the pillow on the counter and let the manager know, hey, there's a bug in here and I think it's a bed bug. Immediately, he took a step back and he didn't want to be anywhere near that pillow. <laughs> However, his verbal commitment to the situation was defensive, dismissive, and he worded everything to kind of indirectly imply that I'm conjuring this whole story up in hopes of maybe getting some freebies or something. You think there would be some sort of a safety protocol for situations like this. For example, go verify, isolate me, perhaps put me in some clothing or maybe even a bathrobe, take my clothes, laundry it, whatever you gotta do it, and move me to another room or something like that. But no, none of this happened. He was just like, hey, uh, the best I could do is move you to another room. But since we're all booked out, the only room available is a few doors down from the room you're at right now. Oh boy. But uh, Cause when I took it down there, the manager, none of the staff, they didn't want to touch it. <laughs> so that's when I realized, oh snaps, maybe I shouldn't have grabbed the pillow and taken it down. This uh, is serious violation, but. You, that's, that's disgusting. disgusting. That is gross. All right. All right, y'all, so a whole incident in this room. I don't know what the hell that is, but. Yep, that's a bed, bed bug, all right. Yep, that might be a bed bug. Oh, crap. So no wonder they got bed bugs. Look at this. Whatever that is. This is just behind your headboard, guys. Back of this area. Oh, jeez.
That looks like a cockroach. That looks like a french fry. Okay. Oh wait, that's not a cockroach, but looking at this, I wouldn't be surprised if I ran into cockroaches. So that's what's behind. Here's the funny thing, guys. It wasn't that hard to pull this portion back. Look at that. There's dead feathers. Wow. That probably hasn't been cleaned in the... In probably 10 years or 20 years, maybe. Or 10 years at least. Look at this. Oh boy, at this point, I didn't want to just be moved to a room a few doors away. I wanted to move to another hotel and I was hoping the manager would reach out to his sister Caesar's properties and then make arrangements for that to happen. But uh, unfortunately, he didn't even give it a try. And for me, at this time period, which was after midnight, there's really nothing you could do in terms of making phone calls to make those last minute or last second reservations. Yeah, that looks like powder to kill bed bugs. You know what I mean? So this white looking thing might not be all dust. It might be maybe bed bug, bed killing uh, powder, but obviously they don't, if they're shooting that powder. They're just putting the powder over the, over all this debris and never cleaning out the debris. Cause you got French fries, you got dead stuff and you got all kinds of insect eggs. I'm not sure, but yeah. And this, and this portion of the, uh, this thing, that thing, probably never gets cleaned or changed out. Cause look at this, it's the same cloth. So it's been sitting in the same position for a while. They don't ever change that out. Look at all this. Yeah, the bed, why is it so shiny, the bed? That's weird, but uh, anyhow. All right, let's check out this side. I can never figure out what those marks are whenever I see it on bed sheets, you know? I don't know. Look, there's hair. You see that hair follicle? And I'm just opening this. So I don't know if this has been washed. Am I being too picky here, but I don't know. I really don't know at this point. Let's see, the, let's see this side. Yeah, I think this one is probably worse. Look at here, look at here. <laughs> You gotta be kidding, huh? Hey guys, am I being crazy? Is this normal for any other hotel? Someone lost their iPhone charger. That charger looks like it's from 10 years ago. You see that? No wonder I found bad bugs. Look at that, that's, that's crazy, huh? Huh, comment below guys. What do you think this is? Just dust or bug powder? Or maybe some powder from the 1980s? <laughs> Ew, whatever these marks are. That is crazy. It might be in a Karen. <laughs> I'm not sure. By the way, please excuse the buzzing noise. I think it's stemming from the club music that's coming out from Dre's nightclub. Wow, now my... <laughs> I'm getting a placebo effect. My butt's starting to itch. This is crazy. Anyhow, you get the picture. All right, let's move to the other room. All right, this is still the 28th floor, a few rooms down. Um, damn, I don't want to deal with the whole, situ whole situation. I just want to go to sleep. I don't, I don't, but you know, should we do it? Should we do it? Should, do I have integrity? Let's see. Yeah, this is not quite as dirty. Yeah, it's definitely not quite as dirty as the other one. That's for sure. They need to really clean up this area by the bed board. Like, I don't know what that is. I know, can't be all perfect, but. Hey, hey, what up, yo? Only the freshest. Denon here at the, at the uh, Flamingo. 
and it has, it has a subwoofer. Bam. Yeah, I wasn't confident in the second room, so uh, I was on the phone for about an hour looking for another hotel, but uh, it was impossible to do at 2 a.m. So uh, I just checked out and went to the laundromat to wash my clothes. Ooh, and then I got lucky. I just walked into Caesar's Palace at 3 a.m. And then fortunately, they had a room for me. All right, it's been a minute. That's it, folks. That is it, folks. I'm out. All right, my clothes are washed and sanitized. Now my body is sanitized. But uh, looking back on this, you know, bed bugs could happen anywhere, anytime. However, I'm disappointed on how Flamingo management handled this situation. Management treated this more like an allegation versus taking proactive measures such as calling housekeeping management and letting them know, hey, let's go to the room and verify if there's bed bugs or not. So what happens is management forwards this to the security team and the security team comes down and takes a written report on the situation. Then the security team initiates the investigation process and they say, hey, we'll contact you in a few weeks with the results. But of course, no one followed up with me within two, three weeks. So uh, after that, I tried to email them for a few weeks. And finally, someone called someone management from security team. And then she said, hey, we don't have the results. But once we do, we'll contact you, so forth and so forth. They never called back. However, a few months later, I noticed that my bill for that night, including my food bill, the room charges that I had, including the tip that I put, they comped off everything. and. No one called me and told me about it. I just found out through my credit card statements a few months later. So that was pretty random. But uh, anyhow, I just left it at that. I've had this bed bug video footage for a while and didn't really know if I was going to publish it or not. But in recent times, I've been hearing a lot about bed bug stores in Vegas. So I'm like, all right, let's publish it. Hopefully that it'll help someone who might have to face this ordeal in the future. But if you face a bed bug ordeal, that's a lot more serious than my situation. And if you need a lawyer, Yes, there's a bed bug lawyer out there that you can look into. Check him out. Don't forget to smash that follow button just like you'd smash a bed bug if you found it in your bed. <laughs> what a dude, huh? All right, y'all. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. And if you did, push that like button and comment below. All right, y'all. Thank you for watching. And please, come again. Bye-bye.